you'll have to let me know. We are using the two this, today, so if you need one, go ahead and grab. We're going to start with a warm up, like always. Um, stay focused on your body, what it can do today. Every day is different. Uh, plenty of water, adjust the weight as you go if you need to, up or down, as long as you're challenged. And we're going to get started here. Take it to a march. Shake up the arm. 
I'm just going to start with legs. We've got about five different exercises here. We're going to go through them once, anywhere from 16 to 8 reps. We're going to start out with just, first thing we're going to do is push ups. 10 of them. Alright? Toes or knees. Okay, hands under the shoulders, weight over those hands. Here we go. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Go up on the knees. One foot in front. Tuck your back toe under. Press to standing. Move that mat out of your way. Now we're going to go to squats. Two dumbbells. Feet out shoulder distance, a little bend in that knee, not locked. We're going to do it uh, down halfway. Ready? Here we go. So we're taking it down, half, down, up. You're pushing your hips straight back. Down, up. Give me four, half, down, up. Give me five, half, down, up. Six, down, up. Seven. And eight. Half. Down. Up. Give me nine. Here's ten. Half. Down. Up. Give me eleven. Twelve. Yeah, four more. Keep your chest tall. Starting, we'll stay on that right side for eight, and we'll go to the left side for eight. So we'll 
turn to back, squat side, circle, and side. Back, side, circle, side. Control it. There's four. Five. Six. Side, circle, side. One more on the side. Good job. Come up. Now we'll do the left. Here we go. Go back left to the side. Circle, side. Curtsy, side, circle, side. Nice tall chest. Breathe. Six, 
squeeze. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. Swing your legs behind you. Come over onto one knee. Bring out one foot in front. Press up to standing. Okay, then two dumbbells again. Still working back. Again, a hinge to roll. And we're going to do one arm at a time. Okay, so your hinge, flat back, over chest. Both arms start in the up position. Right goes down two and up two. Then the left goes down two and up two. All right? So one's moving, one's holding. Here we go. Take it right down for two. Pull up and stop. Left down for two. Up and stop. Down, down, up, squeeze and hold. Down, down, up, squeeze and hold. Three, down, squeeze and hold. Bring it up, squeeze and hold. Hold that squeeze at the top. Down, down, up, up. Number five. Up, give it a squeeze. Number six. Back is flat. Chest is open. Number seven. All the way up. Hold and squeeze. We got one more set. Up and squeeze. And then down. Up and squeeze. Come on, standing. Put those legs down. Grab your two again. We're going to work the rear delt. We're going to grab onto your two. The more you chunk up on the two, the more intense, or the intensity you'll have, all right? Now, you want to keep the two tight. I don't want it going slack, so it will stay tight for the whole time. All we're going to do is you're going to pull back for two counts. You're going to touch that chest. Come in and just tap the chest. Out. So two, and back out for two. Two remains taut. Use the back of the shoulder, middle back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Six, release. Just tap that chest. Release. Just eight. Try to let your arms relax. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Three. Fourteen. Fifteen. One more. Sixteen. Yes, how do you do? Get that two down. All right, now, push-ups. Close your knees. Okay, this time I want your hands out nice and wide. Real wide. Fingers pointing away from you. Alright. We're gonna do a single count. Here we go. Take it down, up, down, up. Three. Bend your elbows. Chest to the floor. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more, and ten, yes. Come up on those knees, one foot in front. Stand up. Mass out of the way. I'm going to get this, working the back side of the body. Going back, glutes and hamstrings, two weights. Think about shoulder. You're going to hinge the hip, toe flat back. I'm going to go down two, got two. Here we go, so take it down and up. Down for two and up for two. Try to keep that chest open. Don't let the shoulders round forward. You can pull back, open chest. Four and up. All right, two counts each way with control. And up. Control. 
Okay, you want to bring it right up underneath those armpits. Okay, now again, choke up if you need more resistance. The more you choke up, the more resistance you're going to have. What we're going to do, we're going to press set straight out in front, two, two, and back. Then we're going to go up, two, two, and come back. We're going to go back to the center, and then we're going to go down, all right? When you go down, that tube's going to want to roll, so that's why you want it up underneath those arms, okay? All right? Center, two, two. In front, bring it in. Take it up, bring it in. Take it center. Bring it in, and then go down, and back in. You got the center, and back, go up, and back, go center, and then angle down, down, keep the arm straight, go to center, up, and then the elbow when you bring it back. You sit there. Bring it back, angle down, bring it back. Go to the center, come back, go up, come back. Go to the center, bring it back, angle down, bring it back. Again, take the center, slowly back, all the way up, bring it back, back to the center. Bring it back, hang it down, one more set, center, go up, go center, angle down, bring it back, good job, release, okay now, one arm overhead tricep, using the tube, you're going to grab onto that tube with your right hand, Rest the tubes on the floor, all right? Now, the more tube that you step on, the closer you step to your handle, the more resistance you will have, okay? Now, so put your left foot on the tube. Walk your right foot forward, so it's in front. All right? Take that arm, bring it up over your head. That tube is going to run down the center of your back. Okay, now, I want your hand open. Hand open, not this, but this. All right, I'm gonna go down two and up two. So lower down, press up. Now if you need to step on more two, go ahead. If your resistance needs adjusted, down two and up two. All the way down, press up with the edge of your hand. Down two, up two. Five, and up, six, up, seven, full range, up, eight, up, nine, up, we got 12, 10, up, 11, all the way up, and 12, and up, yes, bring it down, left hand in the handle, don't shake your head long. Two on the floor, now you're going to step on with your right foot this time. Try to guess where your attention needs to be. Take your left foot, walk it forward over that tube, bring that arm overhead. Okay, palm open. Okay, two, two, here we go. Put down two, and up two, full range. Take it down, up, up, down. Upper arm doesn't move. You're bending at the elbow, up, up, five, coming up with the edge of the hand, up, up, give me seven, and up, give me eight, up, nine, working that tricep, three more, slow and control, control the down, control the up, two more, Open hand, keep the wrist rigid, and up, and up, bring it down, grab one dumbbell, overhead try, oh. 
Bring it overhead, elbows pointing to me. Keep your bicep up by your ears. All right, down three, up one, here we go. Go down, two, three, all the way up. Down, two, three, up. Down, two, three, up. Four, two, three, up. Five. Get that elbow to lower. Six. Keep your elbows pointing forward and in as much as you can. Eight. Nine. Got three more. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Yes, bring it down. Good job. You guys need a drink? Grab a drink. Okay, push ups. Still with me? Yeah. Yeah. I know you don't like getting down or not, but we're going to do it. We're going to have a chance. You guys got this. Alright? Alright. Hands are making shoulders, weight over the hands. This time the count is going to go down halfway. Here we go. So it's down, half, down, up. Down, half, down, up. Give me three. Half, down, up. Give me four. Half, down, up. Give me five. Six, breathe. Seven, head and neck and line with your spine. Bend your elbows. Eight. You need two more like that. Nine. One more. Yes, good job. Sit back on your heels. Long arms in front, get a little stretch. Pull those arms in by your knees and hands. One foot in front. Tuck the back toe under, press yourself up. You got that out of your way. Okay, biceps. Two dumbbells. Okay. We're going to start with a hammer, but you're going to rotate it to the up position, your palm. Alright, we'll start right and then we'll go left. So, your hammer is because your palms are in at the side. As you come up, you're going to rotate that palm up to two. Alright, there we go. So, right, two. Come down and hold. Now left. I want it slow and controlled. Just don't let it drop down. Both sides. Up two. Control it down. Rotate. Come up. Come down and lock it in. There's three. Down to the side. Left side. Focus on using your bicep. Keep a light grip on that dumbbell and squeeze your bicep instead of the dumbbell, right? Number five. Number two. Number six. Keep that elbow pointed down to the floor. Two more sets. Control that down. Last set right here. Good job. All right. From there, we are going to do two. Let's use the two. Work our biceps. You grab your handles. You're going to step on the two with your feet. The further your feet are apart, the more resistance you will have. Alright? You're going to bend your arms in 90. Alright? From this position, you're going to go out, curl, come down, bring it in. Go out, curl, down, and in. Go out, curl, lower, Come in, go out, curl, lower, and in, out, curl, 
slower. And keep it in 90, your arms. Six. Curl, lower, and in. Seven. Eight. Breathe. Nine. Ten. I want control. Eleven. Yes, you can. Twelve. Do those biceps. Two more. Don't rush it. Keep your wrists straight. Don't round those wrists. Keep them straight. Good job. All right. Off that two. Just do the shoulders. All right. This will be your last exercise. At shoulder height, you can either have your palms facing in or out. If you have shoulder problems, this is more friendlier for the shoulder, all right? Which I have. So one right, one left, then both of them for one. Two, two count on everything. Here we go. So up two, bring it down. Now left, you're stopping right at the shoulder. Now both, up two, and down two. One right, up, lower with control, left, just don't let it drop. Now hold. One right, bring it down. One left, bring it down. Now hold, up, and down. One right, and down. One left. And down, now fold. One right. One left, try to stay out of your neck. Now fold. One right, control it. Use your shoulder to lift that weight. Use your shoulder. Yes, now fold. Up. One right. One left. Now both. One right. How we doing? One left. Now both. Got one more step. One right. Use your shoulders. One left. Now both. Good job. Bring it down. Finishing up with push-ups. And then you're going to stay on the floor or sit on the mat to stretch, okay? Push-up position. All right. Bring the hands underneath those shoulders. Down three, up one. Ready? Here we go. So stay down. Two, three, press up. Down. Two, three, up. Down, two, three, up, two, four, two, three, the four, five, six, seven, three more, nine, last one, good job. Take a seat on that back. Long legs in front. How do you do? Okay? Okay. Sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath. Lift your ribs. Pinch and exhale, coming down. Go on to feet, toes, calves, whatever you can reach. Hold. And release. One more time. Inhale. Lift your ribs. Exhale, pinch forward. Hold. And 
release. Cross your right leg over left. Pull those legs in. Now hinge forward at the hip. Come down and hold. Sitting back up, switching the legs out. Hinge forward. About shoulder distance, push your tailbone or tail back onto your heels, lengthen those arms out in front, let the other body relax down, child's pose. Okay, with your hands, pull your body forward, drag your hips to the floor, keep the upper body lifted. Your hands and knees. Walk your hands in. Make sure your feet are in shoulder distance. Tuck your toes under. Okay, and you're going to push up through the hips, up to the ceiling, downward dog. Come all the way up. Other body comes forward. Soften your knees. Let's walk them towards your feet. Your hands towards your feet. And just stay them over. Keeping the knees soft, upper body totally relaxed. Breathe. Knees a little softer, let's roll up. Take your shoulders, one giant roll back. Sit your shoulder blades down. You're going to take that right knee, you're going to bring it back behind your shoulder blade, grab onto your right elbow. You're going to pull that elbow in and down towards your head as close as you can get it. You're going to look forward into that ear. Stepping out with that left foot. We're going to do a little side bend and we're going to hold. Now drive your right elbow to the left part of the room and hold there. Keep breathing. Bring that elbow back. Bring your body center. And switch those arms. Grab that left elbow. Pulling it down and towards your head as you come forward. Bending over to the right. Hold there. Breathe. Drive that left elbow to the right corner of the room and hold. Bring that elbow back. Bring your body center. Bring that right arm all the way down. Bring your left arm halfway. Bring it around in front and chest level. Grab the the elbow, pull in, that arm in and down to your chest. You're going to look to that left wall. That right hand, pull that left arm towards the right a little more. Okay, look center, release that arm, give it a little shake and roll the shoulder back. Right arm, halfway around in front, grab above the elbow, pull in and down as close as you can, keep your shoulder relaxed. Let's look to the right. Using that left hand, we're going to pull that arm to the left a little more. Okay, look center, just release that arm, shake it up, just roll the shoulder back. Bring your hands onto your glutes. You're going to pull those elbows together as close as you can get them. Keep your chest up. Look forward. Breathe. Relax. One more time. Pull them in. Breathe. And relax. Step out. Give me a deep breath up. And exhale. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale. Good job, you guys. Okay. I'm going to go right to core. If you're leaving, thank you for joining me this morning. Hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Shoulders up on off the floor. Here we go. One, one. Take it up and down. 
in full range. I want you coming all the way up, not just halfway. Contract that core and pull up. Come all the way back to the floor. In full range of motion, using that core to lift with. And let's do a two-two count. Up to a squeeze. Bring it down and relax all the way. All the way up. And down. Come on back, is resting against the floor. Up. Keep it going, two, two. Up two. And down two. Up two. And down two. Keep it up. Bring it down. Keep it up. Bring it down. Now, now, just take it all the way up. Stay there. I want you high, all the way up. You're gonna hold. Your abs are contracted. Press that angle right up against the spine. For four and three. Now from here, contract and pulse. Contract those abs and pulse up. So each pulse you're doing, there's a contraction of that upper abdominal. Pulling that navel in towards the spine as you contract again. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, singles, down, up. Take it down, all the way up. Down, all the way up. Down, all the way up. Down, up and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, contract and pause. Let's go. Up, up. Breathe. Eight more, come on. Give it four, three, two, down, up. Take it down, all the way up. Down, up, down, up. Now down, up and pulse. So, strong contraction of the abs each time. Stay lifted. Eight more. Give me four. Three. Two. Down, up. Take it down. Up. Down. Up. Up and pulse again. Let's go. Use that upper abdominal. Eight more strong. Breathing. Give me four, three, two, down and up, down, up, down, up. Okay, now come all the way down, and now left knee above your hip, follow with your right, pelvic tilt, just tilt the hips, and release, tilt, release. Now we're working the lower layer of that ab, below the navel. I have to contract those abs real tight, pull them in. Those hips are just going to barely come off the floor. That's your pelvic tilt. Make sure you're using that core and not the lower back. No swinging. Okay. Keep it going. Four. Strong. And just take it into a little pulse, contracting each time. Each time you contract, pull that navel, the navel towards the spine. Keep it going. We're going to do eight more strong. Four more. Okay, let's go back to just singles. Contract, release, squeeze. Four more, then we'll go to that full body crunch. Two more. Okay, fingertips behind the ears, full body crunch. Keep the chest knee center. Keep the elbows out to the sides. I want those knees and chest to roll the way in. Keep 
Bring it eight more. Strong. Come on. Eight. Seven. You need a break. Take it. Three, four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Keep your legs in tabletop. All the body comes down. Both arms straight up to the ceiling. Arms and legs. Two, two. Out and in. Upper body comes up and pulses. Three. Here we go. So extend out for two. Bring them in. Up and pulse. Three. Two. Down and down. Extend out for two. Bring it in. Pulse up for three. Two. One down. Take it out. Out. In. In. Pulse for three. Now you can just do one leg at a time if you want and alternate. Take it out, one leg, one arm. In, in, and pulse for three, two, one, down. Take those legs up higher, that lower back is coming off the floor. Pulse for three, two, one, and down. It's out, out, in, in, and pulse for three, two, one, and down. Take it out, out, in, in, and pulse for three, two, one, one more time. Take it out, out, in, in, and pulse for three, two, one, and down. Good job. Your feet to the floor, lengthen out your legs. Take your legs out wide. Bring both of your arms over your head and take them out. Your body is forming an X, all right? Now, I'm going to have on my cue, we're going to feet and uh, shoulders off the floor. We're going to hold three counts in that position. On count four, you're going to bring your knees and elbows to the center with a strong crunch. Then you're going to go straight back out and hold. All right? Here we go. Take it up. Two, three, bring it to the center. Take it out. Two, three, and crunch. Out, two, three, and crunch. Out, two, three, and crunch. Breathe, two, three, crunch, center. Out, two, three, crunch, center. Take it out, two, three, crunch to the center. Two more. Out, two, three, crunch to the center. Out, two, three, crunch to the center. Good job. Okay, take your feet out wide. Feet on the floor, take them wide. All right, you're gonna lift your shoulders off the floor. Right fingertips to right heel. Little side down. Here we go. Take it to the right. Stay on that right side. Now you should be able to reach for that heel. Come on. Really give me that side bend working out of weight. Now if you need to put your other hand behind your head to help support it, you can. Really side bend. Come on, reach for that heel. Give me four. Three. Two. Okay, same arm, reach under the leg. Or the left heel. Reach under that leg. Reaching over towards that left heel this time. Shoulders are off the floor. Give me that deep side bend, working over the area. Bring your chest behind the ears, roll straight up, up, down. Upper abdominal, use it. Okay, take it up and hold. Left arm long. Reach into the left heel. Ready? Here we go. So a little side bend to the other side. Try to reach for that heel if you can. Keep going. Look straight up to the ceiling. Give me four, three, two. Now you're going to reach under that left leg over towards the right heel. Okay, just reach over there. Keeping that side bend if you can. Keep it going. Give 
Give me four more. Here's four. Three. Two. Finger testing on the ears. Roll straight up. Upper abdominal. Call on it. Use it. Keep the feet wide. Two more. Okay, let's take that right shoulder over to the left knee. All the way over, all the way back. Over, all the way back. Knee to the shoulder. Twist from your torso. Two more. Okay, we're going to lengthen that arm. Tap the outside of that knee with the pinky finger. Four more, let's go. Outside of the knee. Not the kneecap, the outside. Okay, now this time I want you to try and protect your calf. You can do it, come on. Really reach for it. Twist of the torso. Two more. Get your toes behind the ears, roll straight up. Upper abdominal. Two more. Okay, your left shoulder to your right knee. All the way over, all the way back. Leave the shoulder, not the elbow. Twist on the torso, not the shoulders. Breathe. Okay, lengthen that left arm, tap the outside of the knee. Outside of the knee. Really reaching, bring all that arm all the way back. Now this time you're gonna reach that calf. I think you can do it, come on. Can you touch it. Bring that arm all the way back. Twist from your torso. Four. Three. And one, go straight up, upper down. Walk those feet in. Two, four, three, two, and one. Come down. Grab my one knee, roll up. Come to a front plank. Okay, we're gonna do elbows and toes. All right. Your hands are not together, it's about shoulder distance. I want you to point your thumbs up to the ceiling, from the crown of your head to your heels. Nice straight line. Let's bring those feet together a little bit. I'm going to start with that right leg and I'm going to bring up, half over the right, bring it back up and down. Now left, cross over, bring it back up and down. Up, on the right, cross over, bring it back, and down, left side. Up, cross over, bring it back, and lower. Up, cross over, bring it back, and down. Try to keep your hips still. Up, cross over, bring it back, and down. Don't let your head drop. Cross over, bring it back, and down. Up, cross over, bring it back, and hold. And four, three, two, okay, feet squatted in. Turn out, out, in, in. Let that head drop. Do as long as you can, all right? 
Take a deep breath. Exhale, relax the body. Keep breathing and lift. Now the head and neck is right in line with that spine, okay? You're looking straight up at the ceiling. Core is nice and tight. The navel should be pressed right up against your spine as you're breathing. Lower back should be resting against the floor. If not, you need to bring those legs up higher. Please do that until that back is there. Your legs are long, your feet are flexed. You have to breathe. Focus on your core. Keep it nice and tight. Visualize. Okay, we got five seconds. And come down. Good job. Now back to those knees. Pull those knees all the way into that chest. A little tight ball right here. Stretch that lower back. Now you're going to slowly roll the head from right to left. Nice and easy. Thank you. Gotcha. Okay, now release that tight ball just a little bit to your lower back is on the floor. And just kind of go side to side with your body. Massage that lower back. Okay, knees above your hips. Arms out to your sides. Keep your feet and knees together slowly. Over to your left. Shoulder blades should be in contact with the floor if you can. Look over your right shoulder, breathe. Head comes center, one leg at a time, comes back to the center, bring them together. Slowly, lower to your right. Look over that left shoulder. Head comes center, one leg at a time, center. Bring those feet to the floor. Extend your legs long and roll to your front. We're going to come up onto our hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, knees under your hips. You can take it. Tuck that pelvis down and under, roll it back up. Hold there, head is relaxed. Down. Okay, come to the neutral spine. Hold. Breathe. Inhale, one chin up. Hold. Okay, come to neutral spine, hold there. And come all the way up. Bring one foot in front, tuck that back toe under, press your body up. 